about two things. Have you heard about make eye contact with the with the person you're speaking to? So how many of you believe it's good to make eye contact with the person we're speaking to? Okay. And how many of us actually do it? Okay, fewer hands. Okay. So it's a skill to be developed, correct? Why? Because for India does it come naturally? No, it's not. But the Finns, guess what? They're exactly like us. The Finn does not like eye contact. The Finn does not make eye contact. And is actually quite comfortable <coughs> looking away and making conversation. So they are the exception to the rule. So over there, they got on better with Indians. But in the other opposite spectrum is where the Finnish status of women in Finland and India. Okay, do you think they're similar? What have you heard? Have you heard something about it? about sort of the Scandinavian women? Very well represented in industry, in politics. Hey, but Indra Nadi was the Prime Minister long before anybody else. That doesn't really matter. What else? Even our parents, 
even even parents don't take no as an answer. When you were young and when you didn't want to eat something, your parents used to whack you and say, eat, it's good for your health. No has never been taken as an answer. Okay, 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 thank you, Hyder. Thank you. So, uh, no, the event was actually the way in which the question is asked. So generally there are two ways. Like, will you be able to do this? So then, like, we don't feel like saying no, mm -hmm. right? Because there's the word able, and another way of asking is like, can you do it? Mm -hmm. So we don't feel like saying no because we can do it. It's like that. So I think this is what he meant. Like the way in which the question is asked to them. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So a little bit more than that. I think the ability to say no is clearly, I'm again telling you what's in our DNA to change. So that it has been ingrained in us, in us, is not being uh, disputed here. We're not arguing. Despite India always teaching us to say no, we are saying yes. No, that's not what we're talking about. Worse then we've always been taught that saying no is disrespectful, so kindly don't say no. But now, Close your eyes, fast forward 21st century. Are you a global Indian? Yes, yes. No. <laughs> Who said no? Why do you say no? <laughs> no laughing out of turn. One second. Why do you say no to being a global Indian? Okay, with respect to the skill set. Okay. But in the position that you are in today, in 21st century India, are you a global Indian? Opportunities are there. Opportunities are there to be global Indians. Okay? Do you ever visit Facebook? Yes. yes. Then you're a global Indian. Do you ever eat pizza? Yes. Then you're a global Indian. But to me, any which way you turn, you have no, you're helplessly a global Indian today. But whether you're a high quality global Indian, that adapts and, acts and, and manages well with the global village is what we have to try to learn. And that's what great things will teach you. So according to me, global Indian is a given. The, in that scenario, your ability to say no with a solution-oriented format is an absolute must. It's a non-negotiable skill now, as your friend Manoj, was it? As Manoj's story showed. He didn't say no, well, guess what? He's got lost his property. So that's exactly what's happened. Our company, we face this all the time. We don't say no, we get into trouble. So now we've all learned. And you know how we actually Indians say no, but as Manoj said, what did he say? If I could be, I'll try. 